Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. Today, if you're a Devils fan, you're going through a bunch of different emotions. Being sad, being happy, because it was announced today that uh, Travis Zajac signed a one-day contract and will retire uh, from professional hockey with the New Jersey Devils. Now, every Devils fan assumed this would happen. Whenever a professional athlete plays such a long tenure with an organization, this is what happens when they go for play for different teams. Um, they always sign that one-day contract and retire with the team that they play the longest with. And, um, you know, I, I assumed it would happen, but I also thought uh, Travis Zajac had another year or two left in him. You know, he's still young, 36 years old. He can still skate. But, um, you know, I, I even heard as of a week or two ago that the Pittsburgh Penguins were trying to bring him in on a, tr I think on a PTO or a one-year deal. But, um, you know, there was teams looking at him. Uh, especially the Islanders and the Devils, and I'll talk about that later. But um, he still had it in him. But um, you know, he he realized that you know the time with his family was more important at this stage of his uh, his life. And um, you know, with everything that happened with this past um, two years now, he gave more time with his family, and he kind of you know took it out of him getting to that back to that hockey mi mindset, and he was able to step out of it and um, you know evaluate everything and say this is my time to go out on my terms, which. You know, for hockey players, you know, some of them do this that way. Some of them are have to retire because of injuries. But I'm glad Zajac was able to step back and say, this is my time. So I had to do a video on Travis Zajac. I've watched him come into this league. I've watched him play his last game as a devil. And since I do videos on primarily on the Devils and other NHL teams, but I, I cannot not do a video on Travis Zajac. He was one of my favorite consummate devils where you, you know he bled red white and black and um he put so much heart and soul in this organization he played for the crest on the front not the name on the back and um you know he's just a fitting devil and i have to do a video on him so i want to talk about uh travis ajak in this video celebrate his career as a devil and just go over everything so uh, travis ajak has signed a one-day contract with the new jersey devils and will retire from professional hockey as a new jersey devil Travis Zajac is 36 years old. He's recorded 552 points in 1,037 career NHL games in over 15 seasons with the New Jersey Devils and the New York Islanders where he played 13 games this past season. Uh, in 1,037 NHL games, he's recorded 203 goals, 349 assists for 552 points. In the playoffs, he's played in 71 games, 12 goals, 18 assists, 30 points. And of course... Every Devils fan remembers him for that goal he scored in overtime against the Florida Panthers. Um, you know, just him scoring that goal, getting us into Game 7. And that's one of the, the points where we were able to get to the Stanley Cup Finals that year. He was such an instrumental part. And, you know, just watching him score that goal, watching him run around and skating around the ice was just awesome. If you were any Devils fan, you were screaming your heart out when he scored that goal. And, um, you know, it's one of the Zajac goals that I'll remember you know, for, for, for a long time. Uh, Travis Ajak was drafted in 2004 in the first round, 20th overall by the New Jersey Devils. His birthplace is Winnipeg, Manitoba, and it's more fitting that he will have his retirement ceremony on 3-10-2022 when the Devils will play the Jets, which is very fitting uh, the way they're doing it. And um, when I heard that, I was like, oh, that's, that's just awesome. Um, Zajac will remain with the, with, the, with the New Jersey Devils in an on-off-ice player development uh, consulting role. And, um, you know, that's great, you know, to have his leadership, to have his, uh, you know, his hockey sense around will only help our youth and will help our core going forward. You know, helping them out with face-offs, helping them out on, you know, just strategies on what to do, what, what to do in certain situations. It's always good to have these people around and players that play on, on our team now that are young know of him and will respect him for what um, what he's done for the organization and for the NHL. So it's great to have him around. I'm sure he will get some time with his family, then come back whenever, as they were doing their uh, Zoom thing today. And he said, you know, whenever you want to come, you come. So, um, you know, it's awesome. The way everything was handled with Fitzgerald and Zajac, um, they were in consummate connection since the, the season ended. Um, Lou Lamorello reached out to Travis Zajac to have him try to return to the New York Islanders. But Zajac said, if he were to return to play, it would be with New Jersey. My heart is with the Devils. Uh, Fitzgerald also tried to bring him back, but he knew that it was, um, you know, Zajac just knew it was his time. He talked to his family. 
Um, he made the decision with his family, and he knew it was his time to step away from the game. He felt his heart wasn't in it like it was in the years past. And, um, you know, at, at this point, that's what a lot of players do. When they just have that feeling where it's just their time, they, they know it. A lot, of, a lot of them know it. And, um, you know, I'm just uh, I'm happy for Zajac that he did this. I'm happy he was able to step away from the game uh, healthy and, um, you know, wanting to do it. You know, a lot of players go back and forth. Should I do it? Should I play another year? I could still do it where, you know, some, sometimes it doesn't work where they, they can't keep up. But um, Zajac could. He was young enough and he was able to do it. But, um, you know, I'll always remember Zajac. He, I remember seeing his first game playing for the Devils. Uh, I remember watching his last game. And, um, you know, whatever all the events that happened when he got traded, it was something that all Devils fans hoped he would have won a Stanley Cup with the Islanders. You know, him, Green, and all the old Devils. We were rooting for them to win. And I wish they could have won a Cup. I wish they would have won a Cup with us on our 2012 run. Because it was such a special year, and I was really hoping we would have won another cup. But, um, you know, all the best to Zajac. It's been a, just a treat watching you play. Um, I know a lot of NHL fans and a lot of Devils fans aren't going to remember you for your goals or assists and points. But they'll remember you for your awesome two-way play. The way you played hard each and every shift. The way you played with defensive-minded players, offensive-minded players like Kovalchuk and Parisi and Yager. You know, it's just... It was awesome to see that whether it was an offensive-minded person or a defensive-minded person, they all loved playing with him. And, um, you know, they loved the player he was, the teammate he was, the great guy he was, and Devils fans do too. Do too. You know, they knew he was a consummate pro. They loved the guy for the way he just bled red, white, and black for the Devils. And, you know, he always played for the team, always had the team's best interests at heart, and the fans as well. So, um... You know, I just want to wish Travis Zajac the best in his next tenure with the Devils and his life. And, you know, it was awesome watching you play. Thank you for all your time playing for the Devils and, you know, giving us your all. And, um, you know, just happy retirement. And uh, comment below what you think about this. What's your, tra your favorite Travis Zajac memory? Comment anything below what you want to say. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy. Stay safe.